spotlight over the city. I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. Welcome to the spotlight over the city, and I'm here with the one and only, the big homie of all big homies, Mr. James Prince himself. What's going on, big homie? Oh, uh, yeah. What's up, DC? I put the spotlight on your city. The moral voice of the, of the movie. I'm playing a old school cat that's in a wheelchair. So, so. Yeah, I'm gonna get them first. So that's how that's gonna work. <laughs> yeah. You got warrants in DC? I got warrants all over the place. I got warrants in six countries. I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. See the We can't say, we can't say. 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 We can't
So happy birthday to you, moms. Moms turned 70. 70 years old. She's looking amazing. She's doing some amazing things. So shout out to you, mom. Happy birthday to you. And we actually having a 70th birthday party for Yes, her. we are so on I'm Saturday. Yes, yeah, so we turn up. Time. I told her I was gonna teach her how to twerk. She yeah, said, she called me about you. She, she said, said it's she not said, in her DNA, but I'm gonna show she her. She said she be praying. <laughs> I'm gonna show she, her. She said I've been praying for Terry too, Stan, and it ain't working. I'm gonna show her. I'm you you call her and said I want you to twerk for Clarence. Yes, and I she, said twerk for your man, girl. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, so we're going to see if we can make her twerk this week. How about that? We give us yeah. a do say or something. I'm yeah, gonna I'm going to show her with the boot on. You That's gonna, right. You're going to twerk? Yes, I am. Okay, well, let's see it then. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you. Yeah, I can't wait. Yes. Uh, today, though, happy birthday to Sanaa Lathan. She is 49 oh. years old today. 49 with her cute self. fine. 49, 49 and fine. fine. I will say that. I That's will agree. That's one of my agree. TV she, girlfriends. It is? You said yeah. one of? Shout out Stan Latham, her daddy, too. I rock with Stan Latham, the daddy, too. He a cool dude. And she's but so yeah, cute. She is Look at gorgeous. Her. Look at her. Look at my boo. That's my TV boo. Wait a minute. You can't get my. You going too damn far. I took it too far? Yes. You can't have TV boos? Uh, can I? Yes, you have several. Okay, then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Idris Elbow. It's not the get it right. <laughs> I just call him Stringer Bell. That's it. Stringer Bell. Stringer yeah. Bell. So happy birthday tonight. Happy birthday to my bonus mom. And um, what else we got coming up this week? We got something going on in the city this week called Private Chef No Restaurant Week. I have never heard of it, right? But Me it's, either, but it's, it's cool from though. Yeah, it's from September 22nd to September 28th. And you can go to www.privatechefweek.com. And they've got, like, stuff going on all week, y'all. And it's really cool. And they're going to have a launch party. they got chefs that's going to be having cookbooks. Um, it's really, really a nice thing that's going on in D.C. I'm loving that our area is getting more things like this. So Private Chef, No Restaurant Week, what's September what's 22nd through the 28th. Okay. And you can get some tickets by going to www.privatechefweek.com. And Stan and I are going to check it out. So uh, I want y'all to do the same. Yeah. You yeah. know when there's food involved, we coming. You up. already, we already in the building know. Food in. And... This is not coming up this weekend, but coming up in October, October 19th, we're going to be giving away some tickets on the show today, so you all got to stay tuned in. We're going to be giving away tickets to, it's, um, it's called an All Black Gala, and it's going to be on October 19th at the luxurious Renaissance Hotel in D.C., and um, it's featuring Ro James, and he's a Grammy-nominated R&B artist, and he's going to, you know that song, With Your Permission? Oh, yeah, he that's sang him? that. Okay, I, I like that song. Da, 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 da. Okay, I don't dead. know the words, I'm but. I'm convinced. I'm dead. Huh? I'm dead. That's all I need you to know. <laughs> yeah, I like that song a lot. Well, he's going to be head starring up this uh, show on October 19th, but that's not it. We've got Vibin'. We've got Bela Donna. Donna. Yeah. We've got um, Shemaine. Shemaine was on our show our very uh, yeah, yeah, two weeks ago. That's one of our that's spotlight family, family members. And Shemaine, she is super lit. Yeah, she lit. And she's going to be there. So we're going to give away some tickets, you all. And we're going to tell you all how to win these tickets later in the show. So you got to stay tuned and learn about how you're going to get these tickets and hang out. Because Stan and I are going to be there. And guess what? We're going to be doing the red carpet. They're Did you know that? Red carpet. I didn't know, but yeah, I'm with Yes, you. we are. And we got, I already know what I'm wearing. You got to wear all black. And I have you this. You should wear your shirt again, baby. You should double back. What one. shirt? The one you have on. Oh, y'all really like cute. my shirt? Like, you looking really, really cute with I that shirt. I can do like Vanna White. Like, shirt on. Mm, I'm yes. like, look at you over look there. Look at me with my skirt on. Oh, yeah. But yeah, we're going to be doing a red carpet there. Renaissance DC, October 19th. We're going to give away a pair of tickets later in the show. So stay tuned so you can learn how you can win. Um, so that's coming up. Anything else you got coming up, honey? Um, Anything else? No, you got any spotlight stuff coming up this weekend? I don't. Okay, so then we can get right to Spotlight News. Spotlight News is sponsored by Umbrella Therapeutic Umbrella, Services. Umbrella, Umbrella, What's up, Wes? Yeah, CEO Wes Jones. Hey, Wes Jones. Umbrella Therapeutic Services is D.C.'s most reliable and trusted behavioral health organization. And it provides community support, medication management, therapy for individuals and groups, diagnostic assessments, all that stuff. And if you're a D.C. resident, ages 5 to 100, if you're 101, I got to find out from West. If I'm 101, can I still get the services? Yeah, it's we it. don't want to give up on nobody, but <laughs> you're a little far gone at 101. But we still got hope for it you. It says ages 5 to 100. If you're a D.C. resident, they accept Medicaid and Medicare, as well as many other health insurance programs. Give them a call at one 888 793-4357. Again, that number is one 
793-4357 and request Umbrella Therapeutic Services and tell them Spotlight Over the City sent you. Yes. Good job. Yeah. So what, it was not a lot going on in the news this week, but some somebody's name has been coming up all week, and that's your boy, the crazy little boy, Takashi69. <laughs> Yeah. Right, I heard. Say my boy though. <laughs> Listen, he been in court telling on every damn body. So the thing he that telling, and okay. he told on Jim Jones. He said Jim Jones is in it too. Okay, <laughs> did he? Yes, he said that today. <laughs> he done put the. Boy he done Jim put Jones Jim Jones' name there. out there, so you know Nancy probably about to go off. You don't talk about her son. So I mm-hmm. guess what I want to say is, why is people so surprised? I don't know about you, this young boy. You know more about that stuff than me. So I, what, I, what is the deal? What I, is I the big like, deal? I was like, why people, well, basically, the, the young boy, he's not a, he's, he's, in, he's from the hood. He's from Brooklyn. Takashi. Yes, he's okay. from Brooklyn. Okay. Except for, he, he bit off more than he could chew. He got involved with gang activity, and he got ro- involved with some real gangsters. Mm-hmm. And so what happened is, he had them doing gang activity, allegedly, Behind his name, like oh. I'm, I'm gonna drop a bag and I want you to handle this. So he ain't thing. really no gang. Person. Not at all, because okay. yeah, if you gangster, you don't do what he's doing. So okay. everybody got to go to jail for Takashi. But they wow. should have known. You should have known. Should have saw it coming. Wow. So wow, anyway, wow. so that's what's going on. So we'll have to stay tuned and see what happens with all of these people's names that he's throwing out there that he's saying was involved in these gang activities. Yeah, that's I heard the little guy Dottie, the one that. that was one of the main, uh, one of his main enforcers. Um, allegedly just copped a 15. So he what copped for 15 years, which oh. means he took a plea deal for 15 years. Allegedly. Okay, yeah, so okay. Yeah. Um, that y'all remember back in the news, I think it was last year, when there was a young lady who Kevin Hart was, unfortunately, Kevin Hart is in the news again, but he's being sued, uh, a lawsuit, $60 million lawsuit. That girl that he was caught cheating with down there in the hotel in Miami, she's now saying, look, Kevin, you knew that you was filming me having sex with you, and I want sixty million because you put me out there on video and you knew about it, right? Yeah. So yeah. So yeah. now she's coming after him, and he's trying to just get well, and she coming after him for sixty million. It's a tough time, but I think she's gonna get some money. Unfortunately, because I just don't believe that somebody. Because now tell us the alleged things that she's saying has happened, and then I can piggyback. Because she said he assaulted her allegedly or something to that extent. I don't know about none of that. This is good. Kevin Hart just got caught cheating with her, and they got it was on video and on film, and and it got put out there. This sex tape, and she wants money for so it. So she's saying that he put this out there purposely, right? Like that he he was aware of, of it. Mm-hmm, that's what she's saying. Yeah. And why is this coming out now? Ah, uh, now that's another question. Why what is this coming think? out now? What y'all think? He knew, didn't know. What my audience what y'all think? think? what you think well that's what that's what I'm thinking like why would you say something like that when you're married newly married kind of like and then have a baby on the way right like why would you be using that as a tactic of getting notoriety when you already famous yeah I know like very famous but it must be something behind it because you don't sue somebody for 60 million if you got nothing well, you got to go high to get low, so you got to at least mm-hmm. get the 60 million so you can get six. I guess so. I guess you're right. So, yeah. yeah so, we'll so anyway, see. I we'll see what happens yeah. with that. And, and, and Kevin Hart, I hope you're getting well and recovering. I know he's going through extensive home in-home therapy to yeah. treatments, medical treatments to try to get himself well. Yeah, they so. say he has a long recovery, yeah. but at least you're alive. So yeah, that's, that's the blessed right. part of it that's all. You blessing. get a chance to recover, right? Yes. Yeah. Now, Whitney Houston, as you know, is one I can bust a Whitney Houston tune if you want, but let me know. But Whitney Houston, they're doing a, a hologram. You know what a hologram is, yes. right? They're doing a hologram tour starting in early 2020. And I think I feel a little bit of a way about it. I think that's creepy. Like, Whitney <laughs> Houston is dead. How are you doing a tour in 2020 and she's dead? What well, the hell? Well, these are people who are really still trying to capitalize, and they still have some situations with those uh so it's her look like that. They, that's like all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So it's, it, it'll it'll be a good situation for real diehard Whitney fans. Well, I'm a real diehard Whitney fan, but I just think it's a little creepy, and I'm not. I don't. I'm not planning to go. So if they did Marvin Gaye that way, I would go. You would? Yes. I really would go just because I love but the music. But you know that it's not him. Well, he, I know that. It's just like you know that ain't really the actor in the movie. You know that's not really. He not dead. But He'll I come back live next movie. But you still go. Yeah, but okay, it's not. That's not. That's apples and oranges. Honey. Okay, that's baby. That's not a good analogy. <laughs> but okay, I like that analogy. You can't <laughs> anyway, fly. Anyway, spotlight sports. Um, this is not on my notes, but I did want to shout out America's team, the Cowboys, because the rivalry game was on this past 
to uh, Sunday, and they did win against the Washington Redskins. So okay, I so, just wanted to. So yeah, but anyway, how did that make the news? I just I just slid it in. Cause y'all gotta win. Yeah, yeah. I slid. I just. Well, let's shout it in. shout out some Facebook people. Shout out Angela people. Joy Clemens on, on Facebook. It. Jennifer uh, Whiskey Wright, the homie. Yes. Hey, hey so. shout out to you, bro. Yeah. Jay. Uh, Big Jeff, Jeff, my man Jeff, Southside in the building. He said, Shout "Boo!" Out to Jeff. I'm sure he's saying that because yeah, of my cowboys. Yeah, don't nobody want to hit on no cowgirls, man. Stop yeah, that. and y'all are such haters. Listen, Spotlight Sports: 28 year old Major League Baseball player, Pittsburgh Pirates pitcher Felipe Vasquez, one of the best pitchers in baseball, was arrested and denied bail for solicitation of a 13 year old girl. He Dang. Is, he is facing third degree felony charges, and each count carries a possible five year maximum prison sentence. And um, allegedly, according right. to the police, Vasquez had a sexual relationship with this 13-year-old girl in Florida. Allegedly, he sent videos of himself performing a sexual act to her, she's 13, on her phone. Several inappropriate text messages were exchanged, including a text from him telling the girl that they're going to hook up for sex after his season ended. So he's waiting until the season ends, and then he's going to hook her up. This is all allegedly. Now, the mother, this is me now. This is me because I'm a mom. I can relate. The mother of the 13-year-old girl goes into her phone, and she's the one who saw all of this. And she texts him back and said, hey, by the way, my daughter is 13, and by the way, I'm sending this to the police. So that's how it got un- uncovered, right? And they identified him not because he, he didn't put his face on any of the sexual messages or whatever, okay. but his tattoos on his arms. Oh. And they matched it up with him. And he's been arrested, and he's in trouble. He's in a lot of man, trouble. Man, man, man. And he man. just now signed a twenty-two point five million dollar contract. So, see, this is what's confusing. I don't understand. Me. Well, this is—is is this mental health, Cheryl? Is this some mental health stuff? Thirteen. Because he's a creep. <laughs> he's just a creep. So, yeah, and so a rich creep though. So, like, at you know, twenty million, right? What yeah. you think about this one? Twenty million, 22 right? Twenty million is Mighty Mouse. You got twenty million dollars now, Mighty Mouse. You can't be calling that little girl. You can't be calling them thirteen year old. You can call grown people <laughs> once you at with twenty million, Mighty Mouse. Right. Not no, yeah. So yeah. I, I just think that's a lot of people like young girls. Sometimes they may not know the true age. Sometimes little girls lie and say they're grown because they want to, you know, be solicited. Or that's whatever. true. And they, you know, that young girls true. never tell their true age. They that always is true. Say they eighteen. Everybody. 18. I remember doing that. I, I mean, not for this purposes, but just to get in the club. Yeah, not saying yeah. that this was the situation. Right. I don't want to diminish it. Right. But what I do know is that sometimes that does happen. Yeah. Unfortunately for this young man. But no matter what. He's in trouble. He's in trouble. And you don't be messing with these young girls, y'all. Leave them alone. It's enough It's enough. Uh, 18 and over uh, thoughts out here who would love to be with a MLB player pitcher. So what leave the 13. Yeah. <laughs> get them a grown thought. Yeah, yeah, get a grown thought. Okay. Michael Vick, he says that your boy Lamar Jackson – plays just like him or and better, and he's going to be dangerous on the field. And if you all don't know who Lamar is, he's a 22-year-old from Pompano Beach. My sister and I were just down in Pompano Beach about two weeks ago. But he's from Pompano Beach, Florida, and he's the new starting quarterback for the Baltimore Ravens, and he is lighting and he it is up. he a beast. Shout out to my Ravens cooking. Y'all already know. Oh, Maybe. now you on the Ravens? No, it wasn't. Just not now. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> did I hear some claps? In order? So, yeah. so anyway, I got Raven fans in the building. You already know. So hey this year we're looking good already. Y'all already know what we're going to do to y'all. Yeah, like well, M- Michael Vick is stamping him and saying he is all of that He's and then official. some. He's official. He's so official. NFL, y'all better watch out. Yeah, yeah, Lamar Jackson, 22 years old. So I'm I'm bigging up to him because I'm not I'm not I'm not a hater like you. I like Baltimore as long as they're not playing against the Cowboys. I'm gonna root for them. So, yeah. babe, why do you think I'm a hater? Because you say bad things about the Cowboys no matter what. You're a hater. I just say what they do. They're America's team, and you never admit it. You're a hater. Okay. That's what that's the definition of a hater, and it's not sexy. You want me to cheer for y'all? Yeah. Right. You wear those pajamas at home with Dallas Cowboys. You don't. You <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> with the footies. I only yes, have you a do. <laughs> <with them>. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, listen, right moving on. Master P, he wants the Saints to sign Colin Shout Kaepernick. P, yes, P. Hey, I don't what think. What you it, think? I don't think it's going to happen. You I don't think it's a good idea? No. No? No. You don't think Colin Kaepernick would be I a good backup? I don't think Colin Kaepernick Drew wants to injured. play football anymore. Yeah. Um, Colin Kaepernick has, you know, he did what he did. 
But at this point, I don't think that he wants to actually play football. Yeah. He had three chances to play football. Well, Master P is trying to get him signed. so we gonna I would see. love it, though. We gonna see could, how I would love to see him get an opportunity Me to too. play anywhere. How old is but he? But I just don't is think he he's going to Is he old? I'm not sure. He's in his 30s. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I think he's in his All right. Well, it's time for your favorite segment, Spotlight Shining Star. My favorite segment is Spotlight Shining yeah. Star. You're a shining star. So Spotlight Shining Star is my favorite, favorite segment because everybody already knows. But if you don't know, it's the segment that we get to spotlight somebody doing something incredible. Um, my camera's, um, yeah. So anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking like, who is this? Uh, that's so, me. Yeah, that's you. Mm -hmm. So this is a segment that I love because we talk about somebody doing something incredible in the community, whoever it is. And so this week, who's our spotlight shining star? Clarence Avon. And look, we stumbled upon this Netflix documentary. You want to tell it? Well, no, I will tell, tell them about the documentary a little bit. And it, well, let's okay. just show them the clip a little bit and then talk about it. Okay, we're going to show y'all first and then we're going to talk about yeah, it. Yeah, we'll be right back. Spotlight. This is the trailer. We still here? Yeah. Oh, we'll be right back. We'll be, we'll Spotlight. <laughs> This name kept coming up. Who is this guy that I keep hearing about? He wasn't there, but he was right there. The record business, Hollywood, civil rights, anything that had to do with the rights of people. That told you everything you needed to know about him. He was fearless, man. Absolutely fearless. We needed to know him because he was the gatekeeper. He knew everyone. Everybody. Oh, man, he was too fly. One to have for another, he became a powerhouse. There's the power that needs the spotlight, but there's also the power behind the scenes. The guy's a rock in every way. Agent Matt. Manager, orchestrator, this mysterious figure everybody respected. You only find one of those people. I'm like, how was this guy doing it? Sometimes I say to myself, how in the f did I get involved with all this? I don't let nothing get in my way about anything that I want to do. Clarence was an African American man in Hollywood, defying what Hollywood was supposed to be. Black people are going to move forward. No matter what business he was in, he never wavered from his purpose. Seeing that things were fair. He said, would you like any help putting MCA into the black music business? I said, yeah. He says, well, that's good, because I'm going to tell you what to do anyway. I would hear about people that were in very serious situations when it came to life. And they would say, the only person that can help you with this is Clarence Avon. Clarence is the bridge from a time where there was no opportunity to a time where doors began to open. My brother! He understands the bigger that we are together, the bigger we will be as a culture. He told me, uh -huh. Henry Aaron would not be Henry Aaron if not for Clarence Avon. That I ought not to let you just walk on me. The message that I received from Clarence was just think about those kids that's looking up to me. If it feels it's good getting you. Just keep on the person that's responsible for your transition, that's the key to changing your life. Until you use me up. He became that mentor for us all. He became that godfather. Until you use me up. Remember the first time someone ever said, you're the godfather? Well, people call me that. People can call me anything. People have called me a son of a bitch, oh, so what? <laughs> use me up. Welcome back to Spotlight Over the City. So Clarence Avant. Yes. Clarence Avant is our spotlight shining star. Yes, he but, is. But um, I'm going to let wifey tell you a little about He the reminds actor. me of my husband. Like, we stumbled upon this Netflix documentary the other night. We were just scrambling, looking for something. And I was like, well, let's check this out. Never knew anything about it. But when I tell you that Stan and I were both glued to the TV, yeah. this, this black man is official. And I like to call him the ultimate uncensored mentor and behind the scenes rainmaker in music, film, TV, and politics. Mr. Clarence Avon, you are spotlight shining star for this week. And, and kudos to you for helping so many of us in the industry across. I mean, he spanned across politics, politics TV, he film, had music. a lot to do with Obama getting elected, yes. had a lot to do with. A lot of things yes. being in play that a lot of people may Don't not even know, know because I definitely didn't know. But this young man is awesome. Like, I've never seen a documentary that had me so gripped because yes. I never knew 
that one person could have so much power. Yes, and like I'm a lot of power. I'm putting it out in the universe that I cannot wait to meet you, Mr. Clarence Avon. Stan and I are going to meet you soon. I'm putting it out there in the universe because I just want to meet this cool man. Cool guy, right? Yes. Super cool guy. I can see you being like him. But the one thing I love about this guy is that this guy wasn't taking a lot of money for the things he was doing. Yes. He was just giving him a hand up. And he gave so many people hands up, he just stumbled across being rich. Yes, he like, did. Like, he just stumbled across wealth just trying to help people. So Yeah, so if you all get a chance, it's, an, it's on Netflix. It's called The Black Godfather, Mr. Clarence Avon. Black Facts. Yes, who you got this week, honey? Black Facts is my other segment that I love. I like to show Black Facts to show that people like us have done some amazing things um, then and now, inventions and, and abroad. And so... This one is not an inventor. It's actually a boxer. His name is Jack Johnson. He was born in um, 1878, and he became the first African-American uh, heavyweight champion in 1908. Yeah. And um, he knocked out Tommy Burns for the, uh, for the title. And so salute to you, Jack Johnson. All you right. bad joker for Black being facts. able to touch him up and become the first black heavyweight champion ever. To be yes, I love it. All right, well, coming up after this really quick commercial break, I'm going to tell you all how you can win the tickets to the Black Gala. Hey, Beverly. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Stay tuned. We're going to be right back, and um, we will come everybody right back. Everybody in the spotlight. I mean, everybody in the cabin. Sorry. All right, and I'll tell you all how to win these tickets in a few. Spotlight. Spotlight over the city. Mm-hmm. You're looking really cute too, by the way. Oh, thank. I think it's my shirt. You love. No, you're just looking cute. Oh, yeah, thank the shirt, you. The shirt looks good on you, though. You must want something. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I got That'd be it. Nice. I got it for you. You do. Yes. Listen. Who wants the chance to win a pair of ticks to see the Grammy Award nominated artist Ro James performing live at the DC Renaissance Hotel on October 19th? Who wants to win tickets to hang out with us? Listen, Stan and I want you to come and put your best all-black outfit on. Who got the sexiest black outfit in the DMV? We need you to win these tickets and come out with Stan and I on October the 19th. And it's also in addition to Grammy nom- Grammy Award-nominated Ro James, we're going to have Vibe Band, Bela Donna, Shemaine, and more. Some really hot DJs are scheduled to be there. And it's going to be hosted by the one and only Jeannie Jones, Kitty of the City. Kitty of the City. 
Yes, these tickets are courtesy of A-List Entertainment and Ready, Set, Impact. And so we need you all to D, uh, DM us. So what that means, direct message, right? Right, baby? <laughs> DM <laughs> yeah, us either know. on the they spot, got that part, baby. On Spotlight's Facebook or Spotlight's Instagram. Go DM us now. DM us your name and your email address. Make sure you're following Spotlight over the city, A-List Entertainment, and Ready, Set, Impact. And you will be entered into the drawing to win this pair of tickets. We're going to announce the winner on our October 5th show. But we're going to do this contest again next week when we have Black China's best friend on the show next week. Treasure is going to join us on next week's show. Oh, yeah. And we're going to do this ticket giveaway again. Yep. So That's for your chance to win, DM either on Facebook or on Instagram, Spotlight Over the City. Send us a message with your name. <coughs> Sorry, you all. With your name and your email address. <laughs> and also, make sure you guys are following our YouTube channel, too. Uh, Spotlight Over the City on YouTube. No, this is uh-uh, Spotlight no, Over the City YouTube page and also Facebook as well. Spotlight Over the City on Facebook as well. <coughs> so we had some um, cancellations today, baby. You want to talk about yeah, that? Yeah, let me help you out. Let me help yeah. you out. We had a few cancellations. Um, actually, Tori, Tori Hart, um, which is uh, Kevin Hart's wife, was scheduled to be on the show today, along with uh, Hilarious Omar. Omar. Uh, uh, Hilarious Omar <coughs> was also supposed to be a part. But they had an early, early press run, and um, also they uh, scheduled to be a whole, a whole lot of different places starting tomorrow. So they decided to kind of kick back a little bit. So shout out to them. Yeah, shout out to them. So they won't be here. So you're stuck with me and Stan, but this is still great because we have a phenomenal artist who has traveled – here to be with us today. We got Romanta in the building tonight coming up soon. We're going to talk to Romanta and he's going to do a live performance later in the show that you all, let me tell you something. I was here for sound check and I got this boot on my leg, but I was still like, uh, trying to move around. Uh, no uh, yes, he is super lit, right? That's so I'm really up. excited about that. Um, what else going on? Do we have anything going on in Charlotte this weekend for Spotlight Over the City, baby? We don't. We're actually not covering anything <laughs> down there. But, again, shout out to Moms. Happy birthday to her. And we got some surprises for her. She's she going to be surprised some of the people that show oh, uh, for the party. I haven't told her <laughs> um, about some of these people, but people are coming from my Yeah, it's going to be so. super lit, super lit. So um, now that I've told everyone how to do the ticket giveaway, we're going to go into another quick commercial because we want to get Ramonta up for an interview. We want you all to learn more about this young man and some of the exciting things things that he's been doing so coming up after this next quick commercial break we're going to get Ramonta up here and you all are going to learn all about what Stan and I already know about okay. yeah he's lit so he's stay lit. tuned spotlight over he the city we'll be right back <coughs> <coughs> in the park now, say I want to be a man, and make love around the clock now, uh, a wise man told me, if you see what you want, go and get it, uh, a wise woman told me, if you're wrong, just admit it, uh, see you're most of what I want, and everything that I need, you need to know you got the power, with a ring, bring a man to his knees. In 1990, Washington, D.C. saw more than 470 homicides, earning it the label murder capital of the U.S. Shit, there you go right there. Hey, listen, when y'all pull over to the side, I'm going to go in here and rush this dude. When y'all see me rushing, y'all rush in. About 30 seconds, give me about 30 seconds and rush the door. He ain't gonna know what hit him. What's up with you, man? How you feel, dude? Good, man. What's going on with you, man? Man, man, man. I gotta tell you about this meeting, my nigga. Oh, yeah, all right, how'd yeah, go? I don't know yet. I'm trying to see. I went and talked to the diamonds the other day, man. I don't know, man. They been on there with funny. Man, I, can't, I can't really say, uh-huh. but I got a funny feeling that these dudes are feeling that meeting, man. Sure. You already know what it is. 
wait for Black to get in there, give us the signal, run up in the junk, snatch this nigga up, get this bread, spares out. Hey Joe, man. get this nigga this money, man. Else he gonna kill you. I don't got no. I'm, I'm gonna take you to some money. Just let me All up. Right, get your ass up. Come on. Get me up. Let's man. go. Just get me up. I'm gonna take you to some money, man. Let's check it out. Shout out to Virginia. Yeah. Shout out to the whole VA in the building. You already know. Head. Shout out to VA. Well, you who got some people to shout out? Run them out. Yeah, Run them yeah. down. Run it uh, down. Uh, shout out to um, everybody back home. Virginia. You know, Hampton. Um, 757. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What's that yeah. called? The Tidewater area? Uh, kind of sort of? Yeah. 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 Tidewater, so you got, you got the Tidewater area, which is like Virginia Beach, right. Norfolk, Chesapeake, and then 
on my side, you have, uh, you know, the peninsula, which is Newport News, Hampton. Yeah, Williamsburg. that's where we get yeah. down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and on yeah, that, that that's side. That's that cooking and chicken yes. is real. Okay, so that's you can't right. even show the talent that they got hidden down there. Yeah. A lot of talent down know, there. I think everybody knows there's a lot of talent. You know, not only with, you know, with the music, but, of course, athletes, um, actors, uh, business owners. There's a lot of um, great talent and pioneers that come out of our area. So, yeah, um, Pussy T them come from down that way. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. I oh saw yeah? him today. Yeah. Shout out Pussy T. I saw Pussy T at the gym today. Goes He's that's from that area? Out this way? Yeah, he, 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 he lives in the area. I don't want to tell all his business. Yeah. He be at the gym a lot. Yeah. So, yeah, I shout okay. out to him. Okay. So, so that's where you call home. Is that where you're originally from? Yes. Born okay. and raised. Okay, born and raised. Born and raised. I don't hear no accent, though. Uh, you know what? That's that's crazy though, because growing up, people have mentioned they they would always ask me if I'm from up north, right? You right. know, New York or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, I guess I don't know, I don't know where it come from, but I'm yeah. definitely a southern boy. Yeah, and you've yeah. been singing down there in the south since when? Well, yeah, y'all y'all um, are in for a treat. Well, wait a minute. Fin- finish that note real quick though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, ain't yeah. gotta drop it off. Let it go. Go on, give him something. I've been, I've been singing ever since. Um, I was six years old, six, yeah. seven. Yeah. Wow, yeah, yeah. wow. It was a form of, uh, I wanted to express myself. You know, I grew up on that uh, that new edition era. Yeah. Penny girl. You feel yes. me? Yes. Yeah. Trying to get some girls for real on Lodo. That was good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can yeah. tell us on spotlight. You can let it go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, since six years old, huh? Yeah, yeah, since six. Yeah, okay. Singing in the church, you know. Mm-hmm. That's where you started? Yeah, that's where I started. Uh, oh, but did y'all hear me when I said that I used to sing in the church choir? Yeah. yeah. Shout out to the EMGs. Part. Yes. Shout out to the EMGs. <laughs> we go way back. Shout out to the Get em Girls. Yeah. <laughs> In the building. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's up. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. so tell us a, so tell us a little bit about your journey. Uh, the journey has been tough. Like you know, most most artists or or anybody you know pursuing success, it's been tough because you gotta you gotta make believers. You gotta turn them into believers. Yeah. You know, yeah. when I got started. You know, it wasn't like I, I was just blessed with a, a like, ooh, they like, oh, who was that? Mm-hmm. Right, right. You know, and I was I was in school. You know, people used to tell me to just to be quiet. You oh, know, right. yeah. Uh, so, um, it, it, I had to kind of prove myself, and and plus, my my style of music, it it wasn't the typical. You know, where you just get up and sing and all the church runs and everything. Right, right. So it, it wasn't that style because I grew up on the hip hop. Mm-hmm. So during my my era of jumping into R and B was what a lot of the artists are doing now. Yes. You know, with the hip hop and R and B mix. Right. So I was a cat, you know, doing concerts. If I was the opening act, I would come on with a hoodie on <laughs> and some some jeans sagging and some vans, you know, singing some R and B love songs. So, you know, during that time, it kind of threw people off. Like, okay, this don't sound like no BBD to us. <laughs> right, You know, right. This, this, this ain't. So, so I kind of had to prove myself. And um, the journey's been rough, but it's been, it's been nice. It's been yeah. beautiful because you can see the change. You can see the, the fruits of the labor. You know, you can see it's, it's hard work. It's a lot of hard work. I, I used to be signed with Universal. Okay. You know, with a group called Thug City back in the day. You know, shout out to the fellas. And, um. Uh-huh. City. And we was uh we was we toured, we we hit the road a little bit with uh, I think we did a show with Cash Money. We did something in L. A. with Neo. We did a couple um, okay. uh, um cameos. So you've been at it. Yeah, I've, I've been at it for a minute. Wow. And um and I was able to get out of the situation, but I learned a lot from that. You know, um from being signed with Universal, it was a, it was a situation where money came, attitudes changed. Yeah. You know, right. uh, some of the fellas got. The, the, the group name tattooed on them, and I'm like, nah, I'm going to wait till that. Uh, <laughs> See how that thing play all the way out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Before yeah, yeah. I do that. But uh, I, I learned a lot from that, and um, there's a lot of people from my area. Shout out to Black Street, uh, Teddy Riley, mm-hmm. Levi Little, that um, uh, gave me the opportunity to, you know, to go overseas. Yeah. So I toured overseas, you know, with some of the fellas, and I learned a lot from that. So just being, a, and now I'm an entrepreneur, yeah. independent, doing my own thing, yes. you know, traveling and, and promoting a new album. For, you know, I want to be committed. Yes. So you know, we first saw you, and I, I don't remember <clears throat> if it was like back in March, April time. Do you remember when you were in D.C. and you were, um, it was like a, a, a cognac event. Yeah. It was Montel. Uh, they did an event with Jeannie Jones hosting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and yeah. you yeah. sang, and we were yeah. like, wow, he's got
got something. We were Appreciate we knew it. then mm-hmm. that we was like, he lit. He Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, we yeah. like it a lot. And we so, like it a lot. And so, um, what was one of the harder the, the harder things that you had to overcome early in your career? Like, you know, it's always something that will make a person second guess themselves yeah. or make a person want to give up. What was that one thing that made you almost be like, I don't know about this? Well, I, I would say life challenges. And, and what I mean by that is, you know, sometimes the support factor where when you're trying to do something, you're surrounded by people that, that don't see your vision. That's tough. Yeah. You know, because you have to make them believers. And and, and as, as tough as the, the odds get, they're going to be like, nah, you know, you need to just go to school, boom, boom. You know, ain't nobody going to be no no star. And nobody's going to. But if you believe, so I had to kind of persevere through all of that and stay focused. So right. even when the times got hard, um, I just stuck with it. And, and now I'm surpassing a lot of people I went to school with, you know, with the groups yeah. where now I'm still, I'm out here grinding. I love and, that. And uh, a lot of them, um, you know, they done, they done got. Yeah. <laughs> no, by the way, shout out a little bit. Fell, fell, fell off. And so, what's your why, though? Like, when you look in the mirror at yourself, what's that why? What's that reason that keep you going? Um, I love what I do. My, my, my purpose in life is to inspire people. And I use music as my, my tool of inspiration. Yeah. You know, um, growing up, I didn't, uh, I didn't know how to express myself. Yeah. You know, um, I was an outcast. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so in music, you know, watching videos and how Ralph and all of them, <laughs> you know, sit there, I'm going to, yeah. you know, and you, and you just look at them like, man, and then you in front of all them people, you know, on the performances. So, so to be able to, to do that, expressing myself to people and giving them my story, cause I'm, I'm not only a singer, um, but I'm a writer. Right. So I write a lot of my music so I can give people a version of what I'm going through and what they might go be going through, and they don't have an outlet of being able to express it. Right. So my right. music, you know, is that form. They can hit play and let me do the talking. Yeah. Um, so that and plus the ambition. Not only with the music, but just want to be a pioneer of creating ideas. You know, like I have the fragrance. I mean, I like I that. Bring my fragrance. You got yeah. some fragrances? I got my fragrance. Wait it's, it's, a minute, It's called man. The Scent of Passion. Talk okay. about it one time. That, yeah. See, this is what I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah I love man. that. I, I love I, what I meant you're to, doing. I meant to bring it. I meant to bring it in. But that's um, okay. Let's talk about it a little bit, though. Let's yeah. let the people know what you got so, and where they can find it, though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you can get it at any of my Ramont and Friends shows. Whenever I'm performing, uh, you can come. I'll have it there along with CDs and apparel. Gotcha. Uh, but you can also get it online. I have uh, on my, my Reverb or Facebook page. Okay. You know, I have, uh, it's called The Scent of Passion. So you can go up there. It's nice. It's 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 different. And, and that's just because it's mine. Okay. But, nice. you know, I'll, I'll tell you how he got started. There's, there's two ways I'll tell you how he got started. But like most men, uh, I, we want to smell good. Right. Yeah. You know, when you, you win, you win, you know, around a lot of people, you know, when people give you hugs, they're like, oh, you smell good. But, right. you know, yeah. during that time, it was juke, cool <laughs> water. He took it back, didn't he? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm wearing everybody else's fragrance. And then uh, I was like, you know what? I want to create my own. I you like know, because I, I have a creative mind. I love it. So, um, I got with some some associates of mine that are li- the lab techs, and uh, I, I had conversations with them, and finally sat down, and 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 after a period of time, I created my own fragrance, you know, called the Scent of Passion Signature Fragrance by um, His and Hers, you know, and uh, it's yeah, like that. We're gonna, we're gonna bring some in. So I you love can check that. Out. Matter of fact, that. I'm, I'm gonna give a, a, a sample to all the the get them girls. The get em girls. Yeah. <laughs> Listen. Yeah. Um. So before we do that, and uh, are we looking? How are we looking on time, Mighty Mouse? We looking good? Okay. Um, I wanted to, I wanted you to tell the viewers and uh, listeners a little bit about that concert you were telling us yeah. about that had all those headliners yeah. and you. Yeah, it was great. Um, shout out to Paris, my homeboy Paris. Um, uh, it was really, really good. Okay. You know, this wasn't my first, of course, you know, uh, big concert, but it, I believe it was my biggest. Okay. You know, I did Chris Brown years ago uh, when he first came out, so... We were, we were selling out shows, so we did, like, two shows. And this was back in the, uh, the 757. But with this show, this was at the Hampton Coliseum. Right, yeah. the Hampton Coliseum. Yeah. Was I was nice like, that is well, Who was on the card? Me. Who was on the card? It was um, Key Sweat. Key Sweat. Monica. The homie. Uh, 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 Ralph Tresvant. Okay. Shout out to Lavelle. 
Uh, shout out to uh, it was a couple other cats that were and on. you Emmy and you yeah, Emmy <laughs> and it, it was a real good show to watch. You know, Keith Sweat. He's he's man. He's the legendary. Oh man, he's right. He's the man. And to watch him, how he does his show, um, he did good. He's still getting yeah. it, yeah, too, he's ain't still he? Getting yeah. it. And, and, and not only just the performance, but people got to understand, of course, the music business is what it is. It's a business. So to watch him and how he has he handles his business is amazing. Yeah. You know, Monica was there. Of course, she she threw it down. And Ralph, Tre- Ralph Tresvon, he's a legend. Yeah. You know, also in the game for, you know, a lot of people um, for music, you know. So, yeah, he did. It was great. A lot of, a, a decent, a, not, it wasn't sold out, but they had a real good turnout. Right. Yeah, and, um, man. I saw a lot about it, it and I, I thought so it was a good it. look. We, we, we got to start wrapping it up because we want you to do your thing yeah. on the stage. Yeah, just about. Let me so, so, r- so, real quick, before you oh. get out of here and get, get on the stage, yeah. who influenced you the most in music? Like, who was the one artist that you heard that said, I, I can do this because this person is, you know, killing it. So, you know, it's always somebody well, that makes you say, hey. You know what? I, I'm not going to hate on that man because uh, he, he's done a lot uh, for music, period. You know, I know a lot of people are disgusted, but R. Kelly. Let me tell you something. I'm going to just say uh, that. I'm going to just say this. Truth. I'm going to say th- who's I, I who's respect the honesty because R. Kelly is a musical genius, mm-hmm. right? It has nothing to do with his personal life. R. Kelly's just a musical genius. Right. Nobody can take that away from right. R. Kelly. Um, that's just what it is. So I respect what you said Thank with you. that. I'm doing my bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you, you should smell it. You got to smell it. What's the name again? It's, it's called the, my signature phrase, his and hers, scent, scent of, of passion. passion. The scent of passion. Ooh, is this hers? Yeah, that's the hers. And he I'm got the his. I'm going to put this on tonight, babe. Look at you. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Yes, yes, I love it. I'm so yeah. proud of you, bro. I love the fact that you're doing some big things, and um, we love that, man. Yes. Yeah, appreciate it. So let me see. You want to you oh, show that? Okay, yeah, we can. Yeah, yeah, we can show it, and then we're going to get it. you. We're going to take a quick commercial break after this. And then we're going to get you, you on, on set. set yeah. On stage. Yeah, yeah, let them see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all see that, right? It's in a passion. This uh, here? Yeah. It is. Thank you. And I, y'all know I don't just say that. So I would just I want him to smell his. I want because you know sometimes the, the, the fellas. Man. If I can't have it, I ain't gonna smell it. No, it's yours. It's yours. Smell it, it is. Yeah, it's yours. <laughs> <laughs> it's yours. I'm petty, ain't I? He petty. Yeah. The petty queen and the petty king. It's not like Hugo Boss. It is. Yeah. You put you yours on tonight too. We can I rub up on each other. Yeah. Yeah. Look. Yes. We're gonna, gonna take baths tonight, babe. Yes. It's gonna be a whole lot of noise <laughs> out that way. I'm going to take this boot off. One leg up. I'm going to get this one leg up. <laughs> get on the good leg. Get yeah. on the good leg. You will yeah, see. So anyway, we got company, baby. Okay. Nice. So we got to wrap this up. Okay. Yeah, we got to get I out I just want to say thank you so much for coming to Spotlight thank Over you. the City. Thank you are yeah, considered a part you. of our family now. Thank you. stuck with us. Thank you. Make sure you tell about uh, Spotlight Over the City down Definitely. there in the 757. Definitely. And whatever it is that we can do to our platform to help you out, yeah. you let us know. Yeah. Yeah, they jumped out a sprinter, y'all. I, I pulled out in the parking lot. I seen a sprinter out there yeah. with a bunch of people folding. I said, Ain't oh, God man. Good. I said, they for real. That's right. Like they, but you know what? I love your grind. Appreciate you. This young man came up from Hampton, right? Yeah, yep. Virginia. For this, for this particular show, yep. right? And so we appreciate you because we got some people that's right here in the city and yeah. don't show up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we Dude, you had to well, well, I mean, at the same back. token, man, I, I, I salute you all because y'all are doing big things, and, <laughs> I, and I appreciate it. Um, you know, being a, a fan, also watching y'all's movement, y'all doing big things. Thank so, you, you know, thank y'all, y'all thank create you. a platform for thank other you. businesses and entrepreneurs yep. to be able to do their thing. And that's, you know, people need that. And yeah. that's what so we I here appreciate for. That's what we're here so for. We appreciate so thank you. you. So, we're going to let you get up there and do your thing. We'll be right back. Spotlight. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. in the park now, oh, hey. say I want to be a man, and make a love around the clock now, uh, a wise man told me, if you see what you want, go and get it, uh, a wise woman told me, if you're wrong, just admit it, uh, see you're most of what I want, uh, and everything that I need, you need to know you got the power, with a ring, bring a man to his
Okay. Welcome back to Spotlight Over the City, man. And without further ado, you already know who we got on set. Needs no introduction. Give it up one time, one time, one time. Hey. Come on, turn the building. Let's do it. Shout out to Spotlight. All the way from Virginia. Put your hands in. This is my new single, y'all. It goes like this. Hey. I get it, get it. You were upset. I get it, get it. You were hurt. Uh, no need to worry about my last. Uh, Cause right now you're the first. See, I want to hold hands. Uh, and take them walks in the park now. Uh, yeah, I want to be a man. And make a love around the clock now. Uh, a wise man told me. If you see what you want, go and get it. Uh, a wise woman told me, if you're wrong, just admit it. Uh, you see, you're most of what I want and everything that I need. You need to know you got the power. With a ring, bring a man to his knees. Hold on. Don't let go. I'm going through some turbulence now. Uh, baby, hold on. wasn't ready for I get it get it it wasn't fair uh, but out of four long years uh, I was one who cared uh, you see I want to hold hands uh, and take them walks in the park now hey yeah I want to be a man and make love around the clock now uh, a wise man told me if you see what you won't go and get uh, a wise woman told me if you're wrong, just admit it. Uh, you see, you're most of what I want uh, and everything that I need. You need to know you got a power. With a ring, bring a man to his knees. Hold on. Don't let go. I'm going through some turbulence now. Hey, baby, hold on. Don't let go. I'm going through a hard time now. Check this out, y'all. Hey. Somebody say, don't, 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 don't. Well, somebody say, don't, 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 leave, don't, go. Well, hold on. I'm going through some turbulence now. Baby, hold on. I'm going through a tunnel right now. Well, hold on. Uh, I need you, baby. My name is Ramon, so appreciate you. Thank you, sir. Yo. Well, you something else, man. Give it up one more time for Ramon, man. This your man, Lit, you hear me? Hey, bruh. I don't even think I do want that smoke. I'm going to be honest. I don't want it, bro. Take it from the top. I don't even want it, bro. <laughs> Let go. <laughs> hey, I don't know the words, but look, this your man, this your man right here is fire, man. And I just got to say, I'm, I'm proud to say appreciate you are that. You got a big future, bro. Appreciate you. you really do. And so on that note, spotlight over the city is lit because you lit. Uh, Y'all lit. We live the there. audience is lit. Give it up yeah. for yourselves. Look at our audience. <laughs> we got great wrap it up, y'all. Thank you guys for tuning in to Spotlight Over the City once again this week. We love you guys for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, Spotlight Over the City YouTube. Make sure you go do that. Uh, also, Spotlight Over the City Facebook, in case you're not on there already, to put old people. IG, we on IG, Spotlight Over the City. Follow us as well on IG. Shout out once again to our sponsor, uh, Umbrella Therapeutic Services. My man Wes over there, shout out to you. Everybody at the sound of my voice, I love you. I got to get out of here. So love hard, live good, God first. Spotlight Over the City. Yeah.